Good so morning. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? So today, my hubby has two appointments, and normally I go everywhere with him, but I think that today I'm just going to hang out here <laughs> and do my chores that I never do. <laughs> For real. And I want to make some stuff. I want to create some things, and I want to finish watching that video today. And Summer Lily's Trade Mommy is going to be here tonight, so that's exciting. We're going to go pick her up tonight, so... Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I literally don't do anything without my husband. I, okay, so, wow, there's no gas in the car. <sighs> I never drive. I never do anything without my husband, ever. Like, I used to be so, so, so independent. And now, like, you know, I don't really have a reason to be super independent because I have a husband that takes care of me. He does everything for me. Um, and that's just what it is. So the one time that I decided to get in the car and drive, because look here. The other day, I was going to make some spaghetti. Forgot to get the spaghetti sauce. I got everything but the spaghetti sauce. Last night, I asked him to go to the store and get the ingredients for me to make some um, vegan breakfast cookies. I've been really craving chocolate chip, oatmeal, walnut cookies. I freaking sent him to the store and forgot to ask for chocolate chips. Wow, I'm out here with like work people. I'm out here with the people that are rushing to get to work. It's the worst time for me to be on the road. I don't even really remember. I guess driving is like riding a bike, but like I cannot remember the last time I drove. And then I choose to drive on the day that the windshields are icy. Anyway, so I get in the car and the gas tank is on E. Oh my God, I haven't pumped gas in like a year. So, so I guess now I have to get some gas. Wow. Okay. Coming to the store by myself is really an adventure. Because like, he normally pushes the cart. Well, no, we take turns pushing the cart. But like, how do people function alone? Like, how do people function without a significant other or a partner? to help them out. So I do this every time I buy soap. The ingredients are trash, so like, I was here to buy Dove, but I'm not buying Dove. So I'm looking for the most natural soap that they could possibly have in the grocery store. I also never listen to music, so is this what's cool now? <laughs> I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I can swipe my card for, and fill up our gas tank. I'm grateful that I can run to the store and get chocolate chips because I'm craving chocolate chip cookies. I'm grateful that I'm up at th this hour. I think it's like 8 o'clock. I'm grateful that I'm up at this hour to do what I want to do for myself and my family and not because somebody else is expecting me to clock in. I'm just so grateful, like, you know, there's a certain percentage of people that get to live this life. And, you know, that's why we're so passionate about teaching people and helping people. We want to free people. We want to show people that there's more to life. There's more to life than just clocking in and clocking out and going home, being exhausted trying to cook dinner for your family and feed the kids and bathe the kids like there's a life out there that needs to be lived god i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful because i've been on both sides i know what it's like to be rushing to work trying to make sure that i'm not late again because oh jesus i never fill up the gas tank is it 67 dollars 
when did it start costing that much to fill up the gas? $67 to fill up the tank. Lord, when I first started driving, I had a little yard, and it cost $20 to fill it up. But Lord, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm so anti. The, I pushed yes, I want a receipt. And it said that the receipt is inside of the cashier. So I pulled off. I'll just have to text my husband. $67.90. Wow. Now let's really break it down. What is minimum wage these days? I think minimum wage is probably like, has to be like $9 at this point. I'm going to look it up. Okay. You have to go to the grocery store. If you're single, you're going for just yourself. If you're married, you're going for two people. Don't have kids and more people in your family. So you might spend like, I don't know, what do people spend at the grocery store? Like $200, $300 a week, every two weeks, depending on how you budget. I don't know. And like what you're cooking. You have to fill up gas. If you have an hour commute, I used to have an hour commute and I was filling up my tank maybe every three days. $67 every three days. Wow. You must have multiple streams of income. It's nothing wrong with having a job. Let that job be the seed to plant more in your life. Let that job be the seed to, to your dream. Oh, man. I think sometimes I need to get out and do things for myself sometimes so I can really like see what is going on in the world oh thank you lord life is so funny i think it's meant to play out like with a funny storyline my husband and i originally met in driving school when we were 15 so wow it sounds crazy to say that because it doesn't even we didn't even really know each other back then and <laughs> we didn't reconnect until like recently um we met in driving school to learn how to drive, and now he drives me around everywhere. <laughs> Pulling live from the trenches. It's like, nah, I'm out in Tacoma doing some adulting. Just did a follow-up for my contacts. They suck, so they're getting me some new ones. If you have an astigmatism, you can probably relate to my struggle trying to find a pair that is comfortable on the eye. Um, so that was cool. I'm about to go to the dentist shortly and i'm excited man i'm excited about time freedom um we've been mastering this particular strategy um right now for today i am at about uh nine wins five consecutive um it's working very well it's working very well i'm definitely excited to uh you know help the team out help the team out scalping wise and um Help some, help some people get free. Like, you know, the small things is what I'm grateful for. Like, not having to go clock in for $14 an hour is something that I'm very, very grateful for. And having the ability to be able to make $14 a minute if I choose to is something that I'm very grateful for. And um, a skill set that I'm excited about sharing with other people. Yeah, man. Time freedom, man. I'm sitting here like, man... My home girl flying in from um, Atlanta, so we'll be doing some live trading, um, doing a live event Wednesday as well as Saturday, as you all know at this point. And um, time freedom, man, time freedom. Not having to report to nobody, you know, not having to call in sick if you don't feel well, you know, not having to fake the funk with people that you really don't care for. Time freedom. Being able to leave out of the house or schedule appointments when you know that there'll be no traffic because everybody's at work time freedom and i'm never coming from a place where i'm bashing jobs by any stretch of the imagination but the reality is man if you can get time freedom if you can focus on getting your time back you'll be able to do a lot of things man i know a lot of people you know what you focus on grows so you know they become their job, which is understandable because, you know, in, in a lot of people's situation, that's their only source of income. That's the only way to eat. Um, 
But I'm not knocking you if you have a job. I'm knocking you if you only have a job. You know, you definitely got to outsource. You definitely got to network. You definitely got to get connected with people, get a feel for what your goal is, and find a vehicle that'll help you get to that goal. So I'm rapping, man, outside of uh, America's Best. About to get some free bands. I contacts. <laughs> Two pair, actually. I told wifey I'm definitely going to finesse some free bands. Contacts for the one time. So I'll see y'all at the dentist. <laughs> Dog, I hate going to the dentist. I asked this bam, I said, how much for a new mouth, bro? Get those John away. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, young. <laughs> that bam, I said, breathe. I said, hey, breathe. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, young. Mouth numb, can he eat numb? I might as well start my fast today, Lord. Hey, you guys. So, um, <laughs> we just got back from West Baltimore. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay, so, Summer Lily's trade mama, Jalisa, just touched down from Atlanta. Ooh, and yes. um <laughs> scary scary had an Airbnb in Baltimore <laughs> Going down. and it was just really a disaster like I wish that I could have vlogged it what number is it <sighs> I wish that I would have vlogged it it was so bad I don't, I don't even know what to say. Do you guys have anything to say? No? No, no more Airbnb. Airbnb is short. Yeah, we're done with Airbnb. Done. Forever. D-O-N-E. So now, we're, we just checked into a hotel. <laughs> I think my hubby is annoyed. <laughs> I said, I think my hubby is annoyed. What number is it again? Oh, you still in? You still in? Follow the yellow brick road strategy. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Millionaires. Millionaires. Look at Easy. that job. Look at that job. Ooh. Easy. And we in it. Oh, we going to the gallery in the morrow. <laughs> yes. I'm closing out with another three pills. Oh.